left off. I mean, I do, but uh, we for, do. for everyone else is sitting. Demon. I also know, but would someone like to uh, remind the rest of the group? <laughs> um, does anybody else, does anybody else want to do the recap, or do we want me to? I can do the recap. Okay, let's do it. So basically, I found out what my Kirby jar did. That was it. That was all we. <laughs> That's so all he paid attention to. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to remember. He doesn't read the transcripts if his name isn't present. <laughs> <laughs> I'm muted sitting in the corner waiting for it might be my turn to talk. <laughs> um, let's see. If I recall correctly, you guys showed up to the place and did the thing and found the thing and did the thing. And so now is that better or worse than what I said? <laughs> At least I said something happened. Jeez. No, nah, so you guys started off talking to an angel guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said various things to you. Mm -hmm. um, he answered which I hope like, you guys literally took all notes our on, questions. I can't tell you what he told you. Um, oh. 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 There we go. Yeah, what the fuck happened there? <laughs> it's the British Wi Fi. Um, and then you guys went to the city of uh, Zaretha and saw the cool cathedral. Yep. Um, and then went hunting for a bear, but wait, it wasn't a bear. It was a demon. Um, and then you killed it. And that's where we left off. Easily, if I remember. I mean, I have all these notes written down, but they don't make any fucking sense. <laughs> I just have all this chicken scratch. Well, mean calculus one class? One thing was like My Little Pony plot <laughs> twist. I don't know. My Little oh Pony my plot twist? <laughs> Not Satan, just D&D. Apollo, which I think is what... Oh, oh yep. We're yep. comparing this guy to like the the gods. Oh, yeah. I remember what happened now. I, I, I'm caught up. I'm caught I up. Said, I have killed Brain the blast. angel. I have <laughs> killed the angel right now. Kill the angel. Got that. You literally, she literally has these notes scrawled on her. I'm on a Dunkin' Donuts and I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I just look over at her and she's got this thing. Oh, For the first two weeks, I was taking all my notes on a Wendy's napkin, so we're all on the same caliber. I'm here. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Edward's character sheet was just written on a Wendy's napkin. Mm-hmm. We're all on the same. And he's um, still the best character to have ever lived. I'm not gonna we'll miss you, Milton Raised by Tigers. So anyway, um, yeah, we went to a city that's probably going to be assaulted by a demon army and learned that potentially there's some uh, angel Game of thrones thing happening. I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, so you guys killed this thing and now you're chilling in the forest looking at it decay in front of your eyes. Uh, and I'll pass it off to you for what you guys want to do. Holy shit, guys, this forest is decaying right before our eyes. <laughs> I think I, meant, I meant the, we the demon, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I took some of those shrooms we saw back there. I've been tripping out for the past <laughs> oh, half an hour. <laughs> Roll a constitution save, Mort. Fucking, <laughs> okay, um, I guess let's cut this thing's head off. Take it to the guard. Tell him it wasn't. Oh a no! Mort is tripping ball. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> oh my god. Definitely gonna ask for more money than the seven gold he was gonna pay me. Dude, you yeah. should ask for some of these mushrooms. I got more. And then uh, maybe. I know how you didn't want to cause a panic in the city or whatever. But I also feel like somebody should know that it's about to be attacked. Is it being attacked? Not currently. Is it going to be attacked? Well, uh, we still weren't sure if it was actually going to be attacked or not. We're just yeah, going off of... We have, like, a strong suspicion. We don't want to look like yeah. fools. Yeah, we can't cause panic over the suspicion. I think we have to, like, either tank it ourselves or... But an angel told us. But an he, angel... say, he said they don't know what he's doing here. They didn't say he was going to war. I'm pretty sure he said he was uh, going to bring an army to this city. For, but, like, we haven't found, like, any reason that would be viable. Like, what? There's nothing here to take. This is this angel of 
the noonday sun. Maybe it's a paradox. Maybe they know that we're gonna be in the city because we got here before them. That's what I wanted to say before because we have the Angel Slayer, so maybe he knows that we have the Angel Slayer and is coming here now to get it from us. I do have written down wait for moon, so I don't know if that's important or not. He's trying to kill the, yeah, he's trying to kill the moon lady or whatever. Or I don't know, he drives like a sun car or something, like a Nissan. Yeah, Nissan Versa. The moon's most powerful time. No, no. Because the pe there's know, like I'm just reading what I wrote down. noon and moon and certain times of the day at the center of the church you can do powerful spells with the sun and moon magic. So Zarathel is the archangel of the noonday sun. So then Hush either Lovander. he drives his Ford Fiesta in the sky. Lovander is the archangel of the setting and rising sun. He hands the moon and takes, or the sun, and takes the sun away from her. I'm surprised we didn't ask about any sort of, like, Ragnarok situation. Like, if he, what happens, well, they said that he has no intent, he has, like, no motive for killing the other, like, angel that's hypothetically raising the sun. I don't know which one of them do what, but I'm just gonna keep swapping until someone corrects me. Zarathel's the angel of the noonday sun. So does he bring up the sun or layer it? Holds it. <laughs> he she holds hold it? She holds it at noon because okay. everyone loves her. I don't know. And There's then the other dude comes in his Ford Fiesta. The other guy comes in his Ford Fiesta to pick the moon back down for night, right? Yes. Okay. Ford Fiesta. Surprisingly large storage space. <laughs> It's the whole sun. <laughs> I got the whole sun in my Ford Fiesta. What's in your wallet? Emo. <laughs> you're you're a fan. Oh wait, dude, I'm losing it. These mushrooms are kicking. <laughs> it's I'm going. I'm take, I'm getting a second wind. <laughs> um. So I suspected that something do you think probably it, bad is going to happen at noon. Or, uh, Twilight or Dusk. Do you think he had to get his driver's license from the Angel DMV? Maybe. When Angels oh turn Angel 16, do they have to go to the Angel DMV? I think it's, I think it's more of license? like a, it, 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 since he's like an Archangel, it's more of like a diplomacy type thing. Like, he doesn't really need a driver's license. He can just show up and they can't really pull him over or anything. <laughs> He has, he has like diplomatic immunity plates on yeah, his car. Yeah, he's like the governor's daughter or something, so. It's so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Diplomatic community, I just ran this truck into this building, which would be the first thing I would do if I had uh, Diplomatic yeah, can't, community. Can't arrest me, it'll cause a war. Yeah. Oh no, I surely wouldn't want to start a genocide. <laughs> so, Damers I don't know. Damaris winks. I wink back at Damaris. We also suspected that we could do something at noon in that church. Well, we right. said we said let's go back because we thought like, oh, maybe a time that he's gonna strike is maybe. like when they're oh, most powerful. Maybe. Which yeah, would be weird. it's like, well, it's no, it's also like maybe she's most vulnerable because you know she's holding the sun with magic, not her bare hands. We we that would be her most vulnerable, wouldn't it? Because she wouldn't be able to fight back because her hands would be holding the sun. Exactly. But I don't know how much thought Will's put into this whole sun goddess thing. He's like, he's like hearing us, and he's like, okay, yeah, he's <laughs> taking taking down notes. And then the Ford I'm Fiesta taking, comes and wins. Taking screenshots of the transcripts, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't need to. It's all Typically coming in. Typically, people wait for an eclipse, but you know, this whole hand holding the sun thing. Oh yeah, we need to go to the uh, Grand Library in the desert and go through this giant. I feel like them mentioning that she holds the hand with both, she holds the sun with both her hands, is important, right? Actually, no, the uh, Oh. The ancient lost library is supposedly at the center of the lake in the middle of the continent, not in the desert. Oh, but, okay. You know, whatever. Well, that's good. Aren't we in a very lakey area? N no. Gold. I was making an avatar reference. Are we not in a lakey area? I don't know. So. Where are we? <laughs> yeah. in a You're city. in a rivery area. Well, rivers lead to lakes. Not necessarily. <laughs> they, they definitely lead to oceans. But... Hmm. Yeah, but they would come. From... What's the opposite of a river then? 
a, a, a guesser? A, yeah. Damn. <laughs> no, there isn't a dam. <laughs> A bridge. Um, yeah. I was just gonna. My plan for last time was just we were gonna like stalk out the church and just like see if anything happens. But now we're like kind of in the middle of the forest, so. Well, what if we go back? Get gold. Get gold. Yeah, we always need money. So, uh, this guard captain is gonna pay me more than seven gold. I'll just plus. I'll just plaster my little tokus like in front of the church and see what happens. And if he doesn't pay me more gold, I'll just find other ways to get the gold from him. Mm -hmm. I am a thief. Don't cause an accident. And then, uh, He's a thief. He's I'll a just thief. Pick up. Maybe we should go to the church. But if they have the ability, I don't know, to use the noonday magic to protect the city for just that hour. <laughs> I don't know. Well, they'll be protecting the city, and they'll be using her power to protect the city, but they're not protecting her. Maybe we can get them to protect her instead of the city. Maybe there's like something in the church that the guy needs to cause the end times. Well, if, okay, we can run off two assumptions here. One assumption, he's here for the city. One assumption, he's here for her. Right. Uh, the or assumption, he's here for her. If we get the priests to instead put their blessing on her instead to give her like a shield, maybe they'll get something good out of it for protecting her when he goes to strike her at her most vulnerable. Um, but if the, he's going for something in the town, oh, oh, town's unprotected. So, like, we gotta be wise. I don't think it's the town. <coughs> I think it's her. I think it's her. Por que no has dos? <laughs> don't you start speaking in Spanish to me. That doesn't <laughs> Why exist not both? Here. Why not both, huh? I don't know French. Carpe diem. Pourquoi... Por, uh, pourquoi no, pas de... No lost dose. <laughs> <laughs> um, Merci. We're all, we are just still in this forest. Do you want to go back Arigato. to town? Arigato. Arigato. <laughs> oh my lomo. Shinderu. What's the other thing that they said? Let's go. Vominos. What? It's Alonzi. Alonzi. <laughs> Allons-y. Vominos. Vominos, let's go. <laughs> let's go back to town. Let's go I'm back to drop. town. Let's get, I'm Where should we go now? To the let's town. Let's ask the map. Oh my god. Okay, let's ask Do the map. Do you know where we're supposed to go? No. <laughs> let's ask the DM. Yeah, yeah can that's we play? right. <laughs> Can we have a whole D and D episode where we get an item that just tells us where to go for the entire episode and leaves afterwards? So we have like a fully like curated train ride. I'll keep it. I'll keep it in mind. But typically, players don't enjoy that. I I would love to like move just, to go play, anywhere. That's what we call a railroad. Just play the theme from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, where he's like, "We don't know where we're going, and this ride is just going nowhere." We'll be on anyway. a be in a train set and we'll be going one direction. Uh uh oh oh. That's big time rush. But <laughs> good try. <laughs> Y'all okay. can't handle my crazy. Where wh what wh what's I'm the action? Cutting off the pig demon head. Okay, I'm going it, to the church. Putting it into my bag of holding. Okay, lovely. We're gonna go back to town. Cool. I am going to get more than seven gold out of this head. I'm going to sit out front oh. of the church, facing it. <laughs> what, what, uh, what time of day is it right now? Um, it's like the sun is beginning to set. It's like, like, six or seven p.m. ish. Okay. Can I, I go inside? Intense is happening in the sky. Not no as red, far as you can no tell. No red uh, streaks in the sky. So, um, I don't know. We need. I still feel like we need more information, and I feel like something's gonna happen at noon. If something's not happening right now, I feel like it's close enough. To I'll, the evening. I'll get us some information, and I'm gonna go try and uh, get more than seven. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, cool. in the hundreds. So, 
you guys go make your way back towards the town. Um, Walking fast. And uh, <laughs> Damris heads towards the uh, town guard building. Um, and uh, you go and you knock on the dude's door from before. He lets you in. He says, so uh, find that bear. So I bad. sure did. And I take my bag of holding. I hold it upside down over his desk. And I... Do whatever I need and to do. And just huge amounts of shit feels no, out. No, 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 no. Do whatever I need to do to just make sure that only the head falls out. Gotcha. And have it plop down on his desk. Hopefully so you sort of see him like like his eyes go wide and he's like doesn't really know what's going on. And he's like, um, what is the meaning of this? Oh, uh, you know, uh, have, you have like a half so decayed pseudo pig head decided to go look for that bear i say with um audible air quotes um and uh this is what we found well uh, it's not a bear i'll give you that uh, uh, yeah that's what i'm saying uh at least worth 500 gold this thing was a real uh had something for this okay well let's say hypothetically this, this is thing, a demon what are worth 500 gold how do i know i mean it looks it looks like it's been rotting for a month how how do i know you didn't just find this somewhere and come and trying to pawn it off on me like you've done some big demon hunting <laughs> Well, uh, you Should see... Should thermaturgy to fucking make it do demon stuff? To make it do demon stuff? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll just... Make it glow. Create in, 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 <laughs> harmless tremors on the ground. <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to roll some kind of diplomatic check here. Um... Where were we? We were just like out in the woods. We found the tracks. Yeah. It was, it was like killing people or or just causing havoc in the like countryside. It was like killing deer. Okay. Oh, but it wasn't eating anything, right? It was just killing yeah. things for killing things. Yeah. <clears throat> that's right. That's right. Okay, so my good man, Mister um, Captain, uh, typically. When bears kill things, they do it for the foods. Or, you know, to defend their cubs. Um, and the only things that were dying was other wildlife, just being horribly mauled by these uh, tusks right here. I, I poke the tusks. Um, since this was a demon, it was just fucking killing everything that was in its way. Uh, we got in its way, and we killed it. So now it's not going to come here. I'm unsure if there's going to be more or not, so... Obviously, you need to pay me the 500 gold, and in advance for any others that I'm going to have to kill that are nearby. Roll if you're going to... Persuasion <laughs> check. If you're going to be that way! Oh no, persuasion. I am so good at this. Do I have any... Thermaturgy yeah, doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, that, that would help me in this situation. I don't know. Convince him that it's demonic. Sean's like, I use thermaturgy to summon it. Ah! <laughs> um, he looks at you and he's like, I don't know. Seems like a shakedown to me. He don't believe you. I know. I fucking rolled a one. Fuck, I don't know what to do now. I'm gonna... Take that head somewhere else. I... No, I'm not. I'm leaving it on his desk. I'm going to sigh... so loud and annoyed and just walk away and leave the decaying, rotting pig head on his desk. Okay, lovely. And, um... I don't know. I'm gonna think of something to do with this. 
you guys do something. <laughs> uh, so we're, I think we're going to Mort outside the church. Oh uh, yeah. What you doing? I need to find God. Well, you've come to the right. <laughs> I need well, to technically, <laughs> this is for me, so. Mm. Yeah, you've like distinctly come to not the correct place. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's almost there. Just like everything, I almost get all the way. I almost did it all hundred <laughs> percent. Um, I'm just like looking for anything suspicious. What time of day is it? I look up. It's like the evening. Evening. Getting close to nighttime. What's the next time these guys said they were gonna do a ritual? They didn't. Hmm. They usually do something at noon, though. We know that. Well, they didn't. They didn't say like usually. They say like occasionally if there is something that they need to do it gets like that's super powerful it gets done at noon okay okay i'm oh, just we can use that for some kind of divination of what the fuck is going to happen if it isn't already happening at that point i'm sorry i'm not there <laughs> uh i am looking around uh for anything suspicious any suspicious figures anybody that looks like the man that i saw uh okay and yeah. any rodents You're... You're the suspicious figure. I'm the suspicious <laughs> figure. Um, standing perfectly still and lifeless in front of a very large church and just staring at it. Um, you're also blue mm -hmm. and have horns. Um, um, but, I mean, it, everything seems, like, very calm and normal. Um, and people are walking around undisturbed, just going about their business. Um, you know, you hear, like, some, like, uh, singing from inside the church, and, like, they're doing, like, some sort of service, um, but, yeah, it's not, it's not like you can pick out anything, uh, anything suspicious. Hmm. Well, are there any animals around? Um, not really. This is sort of, like, in the center of <laughs> a fairly large city, mm -hmm. um, so I mean, if you went digging in some of the like the darker spots, like you might be able to find rats and stuff. But um, right here, it, it's it's sort of like standing in downtown Toronto and expecting like like you're not really gonna see animals. Like you might see a bird fly here or there, but probably not close enough that the jar would be of use. All right, um, I go to an alleyway. Okay. I find like the garbage area. Uh huh. Um, I stand perpendicular to the wall okay i cross my arms over my book okay i close my eyes okay and it's now the next day <laughs> i open my All eyes right. did uh, <laughs> uh does gerald have anything he wants to do this evening gerald nightingale is training his fists through the art of deforestation oh wow just punching trees, love it. Yeah, since I can't talk yet. His little crow hands. <laughs> um, I would say don't like don't stress too much about the talking thing. Like just allow yourself to talk enough to have fun. Um, yeah. And like restrict yourself enough that it's fun, if that makes sense. Like, don't just don't yeah. just restrict what you can say to the point where you don't get to say anything. <laughs> All right. Um, let's try this. So, Kriella have anything she wants to do this evening? No, I'm pretty tired after fighting that bear pig thing. Fair enough. So, I guess you guys will, um, collect again for a night at the inn. Oh, um, I stay at my trash can. Yeah, Mort stays at his trash can. Um, it's saving us so much. And <laughs> you guys can settle down for a long rest. Or do something else if that interests you. I might long rest. I could long rest. But it's already committed to the long rest. <laughs> yeah, I'm already long resting. <laughs> I've been okay, long So we'll, uh, we'll go with the long rest. So everyone can do that. Um, Jerry, if you see like on the top right of D&D. &D, oh wait, you don't have D&D &D Beyond. Never mind. So just uh, reset your hit points to max, I guess. You don't have any spells or anything. So... Okay. I don't even know if you got hit in the fight, but 
Um, I didn't know I dodged most of the time. And then I got Yeah, so I don't I don't bashed. think you even gain anything from the long rest, but anyway. Uh it is now the next day. And as you emerge from your inn once again, um uh there doesn't seem to be any form of terror around the city as if perhaps it got attacked. Um Everyone continues to seem to go about their normal daily business. Right. Mort opens his eyes beside the garbage can and um, finds his way to join the rest of the group. I take the banana peel off my head before joining the group. Nice. And this fly that's that. following me, his name is Arnold. He's my new companion. Okay. Come on, Arnold. So, um... Sorry, he's on a string right now. Is there an adventurer's guild in the city? Not in this one. Uh, not in this city, no. There's never one. There's only one adventurer's guild in the whole world. Ugh. Well, not exactly. Just not in this I've city. only ever seen one, so only one exists. <laughs> so... I'm a fairly new... I'm like one of those... Out of character, you know, like how they have like those Necronomicons and stuff like that. Since I'm very yeah. clearly like a fanfic knockoff based off of one, I'm yeah. like cool and mysterious, but all in the wrong ways. I'm nice. gonna find a bounty board. I'm like a cringe a Necronomicon. Okay, so yeah. if if you guys if you guys sort of remember from last time, the like the the type of work available in this city isn't like isn't really what you would Dude. sort of be interested in um like the the sort of monster related things are mostly like low level stuff that would just sort of be a waste of time to people like you um like you know like oh there's like a couple of goblins hanging out somewhere or like you know like first level shit um we're building rapport and uh and other than that it's like the it's it's mostly sort of like um like like the, you got the sense from that captain guy yesterday that th there isn't really a whole lot to do like it seems like they've like around here they've got themselves well taken care of um and and that any sort of work that that hasn't been done yet is is mostly stuff you guys would find not super worthwhile. Why don't we just run away from this whole angel business and start a new life here? We could just get a house and live here. I could be a farmer again. Yeah. <laughs> like, we could yeah. just... We could just... And the crow over there can be a farmer. Yeah. Call! <laughs> <laughs> what if... Well, you're a monk. Do you have high perception? Or you're also a bird. Uh, and I he's like, my... yeah, crows have pretty good eyes. Perception. Look, look, plus three. Special eyes. Plus three to perception. My brand. Okay, that's so pretty good. Is yeah, what if there's nice. like, is there like a huge ass tower somewhere? Like maybe that if this town is in such a peaceful state, nobody's up there. Maybe me and our crow friend can go up there and see if there's anything coming towards the town. So you could presumably get up on like the walls of the city now you'd probably have to like sneak up there and there are like guards that patrol around <laughs> it um but the highest point in the city is like distinctly the top of the cathedral and it's ta like towers above everything else in the area okay cool we could climb the cathedral maybe from the outside let's do that i also yeah. have a rope um, <laughs> yeah we have I or do we still have the magic rope or is that gone now? Because um, no one went to go find Edward, so I guess it's gone. Yeah, you didn't. You, well, no, I'm. You guys had Edward's stuff. Okay. So, cool. but did you have? Did did Edward keep the rope on his body? That's the question. I kept it tied around the waist. Yeah. So I looked like a cat. Yeah. So like, I don't. I don't think you guys. Um, In honor of the, Edward, the you didn't loot it from me. I'm good at climbing. Can you actually just fly? Who? Nightingale. Yeah. I mean, I've I have perched myself on rooftops. Do you have wings? 
thought you put weird bird hands. Yeah, can't can't yeah. fly, but, but can, can, sort of, fly. can sort of do the thing that like clipped chickens can do, where they like flap their wings a whole bunch of times and they get like a little bit kind of, of extra there. on their on their jump. <laughs> And then when your stamina runs out, you have to go collect some more feathers, and you can try again. The it's reference. A banjo, it was a banjo kazooie reference. Oh, I don't play that game. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. I'm not Ten climbing up the wall. Point. No, you don't have to do that. I wasn't planning on it. I can't, I'm not very good with climbing, and also this seems a little dumb. I have... I'm okay in athletics, but... I thought I had a fucking feat that was like acrobatics plus seven. Oh, here we go. No, yeah, second story work. <laughs> Climbing no longer costs extra movement. Oh, that's fine. And my running jump distance is increased by three feet. Wow. Wow. So that's really just if I'm trying to climb in the middle. Of and I have observant, so if anyone's talking from the distance and I can see them, I can read their lips. Yes, like special eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some Assassin's Creed shit. So what if you guys go in the church? Okay. I don't know. There's got to be something in there. Two tieflings <laughs> walk in a church. Yeah, that's and, and, they, and then they burst fire. into flames. Yeah. <laughs> we've, all, we've already been in there. So like... They've already invited I'm... us to like special clubs and stuff. <laughs> I'm like 8% sure something is coming for this place. And if it's not centered around this church, it's centered around the angel that this church is centered around. Well, if it's the tallest place in the city, y'all should definitely find you if you can see. That's what I'm gonna do. I, 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 I'm gonna ask the uh, priest some questions. We'll you figure do that. something you out. You guys do that. Distract important people so no one really sees us climbing the side of the church, which... I don't think that'll help, but whatever. Okay, we're we'll go with distraction team first. Oh, yeah. God. Um, so who all is going into the church? I'm gonna stand outside the church, and is there like any children in this town? Um, yes, there are children in this town. Do are they like curious children? Would they like be curious about like us in general? Like, have they seen like? what looks like weird looking you've, you've, heroes or You've copped a couple fighters. of stairs. So if I start like doing tricks with this stupid uh, trident thing to like impress the children or whatever, maybe like have them outside the church and everyone kind of like distracted by this. <laughs> I will, I will say maybe drawing everyone's attention close to the church is not what you want to do when your friend Damn. is climbing the church that you don't want anybody to see. <laughs> um, I mean... That just might backfire a little bit. Um, Nobody but if that were, were like in the street, down the street. If that were if that were your intent, um, you could certainly try. Well, oh, she just has to say, nobody look at me the entire time she's doing it and no one will look at her. Yeah. Wait, that's totally what I want. No one look at me. <laughs> no one, nobody look at me. <laughs> nobody look at me. I'm just practicing. I don't know. But I think also, like, if you you also would probably know, like, it it it's sort of like no one in, uh. No, like, New York native stops to, like, stare up at the Empire State Building. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, I, there'd probably be a fairly good chance that you could get up unseen. Um, because, like, most of the people in this city aren't, like, casually stopping and staring up at the Yeah. Looks more like all right, Priella, come people. with me. Let's go inside the church. No one, no one will look out the windows and potentially maybe see us. I don't know. We just have to avoid windows. No windows. We're just really getting information. You guys are gonna try to get more lore information. Okay, just so see if there's an important MacGuffin in this building, and I'm gonna see if some some threat is coming on the horizon and. Nightingale is a bird, so I assume he can also help me see if there's a threat coming on the That's horizon. racist, he's only part of 
I'm yeah. a literal demon. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm you're only part a demon. Book. Technically, technically, you're part devil, not part demon, but... Yeah, Will corrects me every time. Oh my god. Well, I guess actually, technically, you're part fiend, so yes. you could be part devil or demon, but... Nobody knows. Nobody more knows. likely part devil, because of, you know, the horns and the... Yeah. Red skin and stuff, so... I don't know who my oh, dad oh, wow. is. I don't know um, if he's a devil or a devile. So, that... Or, sorry, Mort and Kriel are going inside, right? Mm-hmm. So let's start with let's start with you guys. So you guys um, head into the church like normal, and uh, like last time, you see various priestly people, uh, monks in the Christian sense, not in the kung fu sense, walking around. <laughs> um, and the shaved uh, heads. Yes. Shaved head bowl cut. No bowl cut. Why no bowl cut? Shaved head. The shaved um, head. Yeah, and so feel free to find someone to ask questions to. Father. Yes. Oh, you guys. Everyone are... answers. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys. You guys seek. Like five, out... like five, like five people stop to look at you. <laughs> you guys. You guys seek out the uh, the dude you talked to. The yesterday. head father. I would like um, to speak to the supreme father, please. And, uh, <laughs> and he grandfather. Can I he greets you by saying, uh, "Welcome, welcome back." Hey, uh, I've come with more questions. Of course. And I've brought a translator this time. I point to Both the translator. Both speak the same language. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I speak it. Um, we're looking so. She holds the sun up, right? Yes. He just points to like a statue <laughs> of this lady. She holds the sun, right? She's holding the sun in the statue. Does she hold it with one hand or both hands? Well, I, I, I don't think she actually uses her hands. It, I think it's more of like a... Like, it's figurative. Where do the angels live? Um, in the celestial plane. Do you know much about the Celestial Plane? Not really. Does anyone know much about the Celestial Plane? I'm sure some people do. I, th I think there are, there are people that study that type of thing, but that, we're, that's not really our concern. Would you be able to find someone like this in this town? Would I be able to? Maybe. Why didn't you ask if they have books on that? Do you have books on that? Um. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think we have any books on that, no. Okay, just checking. Um... Are there like, what's this pantheon looking like? Like you want me to go through all the gods? <laughs> like of this one, yeah. They're like, they're like a lot He's of like, them. Oh, this is going to take a long time, and he puts his armor around more. He's like, let me show you the ways of our church, and he starts walking him through all of the like. It's not different religions. Gods. It's different gods. It all, it all started when there was nothing. Um. Well, yeah. Do you want me to just, like, spew creation story at you for an hour? Can you give me, um, the main essentials of the people around here? What do you mean the people around here? I point to like... the people around here. <laughs> 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 like, like the monks? No, I point to statues. They're all of the same... Perfect. <laughs> and I point to them and say, can you help me with this? Instead of the stations of the cross, the stations of the sun. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah this one is really just about this one age. Yeah, so, you know, she, like, she cool, she hold up the sun. That's, that's about it. How do you commune with her? Um, I don't know. What do you mean? Aren't you don't, the father of this place? You, you don't really uh, like. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> uh, this place I is mean, a sham. Communing with heavenly entities is quite a task. Um, <laughs> there aren't aren't really a whole lot of people who can sort of effectively do that type of thing. I mean, I've certainly never talked to her. Interesting. She doesn't come to you in your dreams? 
Not, not typically, no. Interesting. Um, that's cool. This brother we've talked about before. They're not brother and sister. <laughs> um, but sure. What's what about his deal? Him? What's Lavander's uh, love handles uh, point <laughs> of view on this? Um, he's cool. What does he do? He, uh, you know, he like he he crafts the dawn and the, the setting sun and and paints the sky with the beautiful colors and in the Ford um, Fiesta to the Heaven DMV, and, yeah, and. Um, once he's done, hands the sun off to, to Zarathel and takes it back at the end of the day. And Is there any reason he would get, like, a bad boy backstory? Like, I don't... Is, it, is there something setting up, like, a villainous, like, something that could have ticked him off, you think? I don't, I don't think so. I like my I think, cigarette. I think they're, I think they're fairly, <laughs> fairly cool up there. I take a long drag for my cigarette. You don't think anyone was uh, out to get her? Well, you know the you know, the, the, the heavens are always getting up to, to something. But do you think I, hypothetically? Hypothetically, long, another, what? Another long drag for my. That someone <laughs> could be out to get her. I'm perhaps plots of, of of devils or or demons or something of the like but I, not not that I know of I tossed down my cigarette and I used my the heel of my foot to put it out then um got any other information for me <laughs> well what would you like to know <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a piece of paper with a name I should be following? What? what? what if, <laughs> do, do they have anything in the church? That he just have? hands you a flyer for Sunday school. <laughs> Cre Hello, yeah, yeah. He, he says, he says, come, come to the church service. You can hear, you can hear all about it. Um, Criella, do you have, do you have anything you want to ask? I'm just. Do they have anything? That they <laughs> literally have? hiding my face in my hand because I'm so embarrassed <laughs> about what he just said. <laughs> Do they have anything that they protect in the church, or maybe worship a little more? Do you worship more? anything here? Obviously, God this lady. <laughs> he gestures to all of the statues you have previously gestured to. Uh, yes, <laughs> them. <laughs> Can I just go around the and same look lady? at all the, all the statues and see if there's anything written on them that are more important? I'm gonna than, keep like, talking to the priest. Like, can I? Not to like meta game. <laughs> can I, can I climb around the window and check like yeah, climb around the building? Just, can we just see them? Just check the windows. <laughs> horribly failing. You just, you, just see, you just see the priest aggressively face palming over and over again. And then I'm also there with my hand on my brow and my face. Imagine failing so hard that you didn't even roll for any of it. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't believe he's not telling me. <laughs> Where's the money, Lebowski? Come on. Damaris, we can check for artifacts through windows, like, on the outside. Yeah, yeah, let's... Can... Not to be... Because they're clearly going nowhere with that conversation. <laughs> can, can we climb? Yeah, so... Me in charge of I'll just, I'll just describe want? some of the statues. Um, the, the statues, sort of like the man... <laughs> as like a really beautiful woman and some of them have wings um some of them don't um you notice uh many of the statues she's depicted with a bow um some with it just at her side some with her like uh, with it drawn and as if she's shooting something um and many of the statues also depict her with um a long whip um which is like really impressively carved um, the physics of which are sort of like precarious um, and like like uh, the the sort of stonework to depict the whip like curling around her and um, and out around the body is they're all all really impressive um, but it they don't they don't like they 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 all have sort of like names and just small descriptions but 
there's no real like good information to glean from them. Well, I mean, maybe <laughs> a or whipper is in this fucking church. Oh, a weapon, maybe, perhaps. Just something relating to her. It could be, it could be armor. It could be a weapon. It could be a fucking Dunkin' Donuts napkin. I don't know. Maybe. I think it might be a Dunkin' Donuts napkin, actually, now that you can say it like that. He um, was squirming when I said Dunkin', so... So if we're climbing around, I assume... Yeah, so... Instead of, like, so, gargoyle statues, it's gonna be, like, statues of her on, like, balconies and shit. And um, not really. There aren't, like, there aren't really that many, like, statues out here. You actually do see gargoyles. Okay. Um... But I mean, there's lots of iconography lower down, and then as you get higher up, the iconography sort of like stops because people aren't really looking. Yeah. Um. But uh, as you guys climb up, you buy you guys both find it pretty easy to climb. Like, um, like the the bricks are are good size, and you can fit fingers in. Um, and there are like window ledges that that can help you up. And both of you are, are quite adept climbers, so you don't really have an issue. Um, but can I get a stealth check from both of you to see how well you remain hidden as you're climbing up? Hell yeah. Damaris is completely unseen despite the broad daylight. Hitting, hitting both sides of the spectrums with each roll today. Might as well be a, a ghost. No one can see him. And so, uh, Jerry, just a a stealth roll so that d20 plus your stealth skill okay uh what's my stealth I need to okay never mind almost it's, it's slash space. r you, you oh, said r, r slash it's slash r I gotta stop using reddit <laughs> okay, and and Gerald doesn't make any, doesn't knock any bricks off or anything like that. Brilliant. Um, so as you guys make your way up, um, you sort of like, uh, the the main body is is walls, and then as you get higher up, it sort of comes to a point, uh, like it's sort of the silhouette comes to a point, um, as as various towers, um like you get to the tops of various towers and and there's one sort of central tower that's like a point up to the sky um and you guys can sort of like precariously climb up this very top um perch and have a look around uh and so you guys can both roll perception checks Just fucking Reddit. <laughs> Reddit. <laughs> nice. So, um, you see out around the city, all around, and um, on the north side of the city is uh is the river, and on the south side, uh, and and sort of like all around, you see the the sort of plains of the of the lead up to the river. And towards the south is the forest that you were in yesterday. Um, and you don't see any, like, large menacing military installations. Um, but Gerald is able to make out what looks like two pillars of smoke from the forest. Um, that look quite close to each other. Um, and are, are fairly faint. So it's not like, it's not like a forest fire level. It looks sort of like the pillars of smoke from two large campfires that are relatively close to each other. Caw! Caw! Campfire! <laughs> <laughs> what is it, boy? Did you be stuck in a well? So, <laughs> so <laughs> Jared, Gerald, Gerald points it out to you and you can have you ha upon closer inspection, you you two can see the the light pillars of smoke. Okay, it's coming from the south. Yeah. Okay. Um, I ain't no kind of smart or anything, but that's odd. <clears throat> um, 
I assume, are we like, if we're not, can we be like on the very center of the spot where they perform their like big rituals? Like, I assume it's a big open um, glass roof, or maybe it's just completely open, right? There. Yeah, no. So there, so there is further down. Um, there is like a large stained glass skylight, basically. Okay, I want to see just if I can find out anything on the outside of it. Okay. Um, you you make your way down there, um, climbing climbing down the various towers and. Uh, and and make your way down, and it is like uh, a stained glass window that is is um, fashioned to look like the sun, um, or like an artistic depiction of the sun. Um, but and and there's some just like carving around the side, but it, like just purely artistic design. we got something out of this um there's something off in the distance i don't know how far away it is if we have days if we have until noon either way i think we need to talk to the church about maybe doing something at noon maybe okay so you you make your way all the way down back to the ground um uh relatively unseen you sort of like like someone sees you drop off the side of the building at the at the very lowest point but they sort of just I, I wink go about their day um, maybe you guys were fixing the roof or something um oh, you know, we're just window cleaners uh, with but here. you guys make your way back around to the front of the cathedral and up the grand steps um to join Criella and Mort inside the the cathedral Give me the paper, old man. And and by now the 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 priest has sort of taken you back into like a side area. So you're not you're not in the main sort of congregation hall of the of the church, and you're off into like a and I guess like an office. Okay. Sort of sort of deal. So. So like, what about her? Do you worship? <laughs> she holds the sun. That is, that is what about her we worship. What kind of power does that give you? We say thank you for holding the sun. <laughs> and in return, she holds the sun harder. <laughs> so uh, why would anyone want to kill her? Maybe they don't. I don't know. I don't think anyone does want to kill her. <laughs> I don't know, eternal darkness might be pretty depressing, so. so. Who's trying to get eternal darkness? I don't know. We don't know. We're trying to figure out why this city is important to Isn't love. Isn't Love and... Handles like just the god of transporting the sun in his fourth fiesta? Yeah, he gives it to her and takes it away from her. Maybe he's a little so bitter. Obviously, about it. she has the superior job if she gets all the praise. And yeah, she's he's worshipped and he's not worshipped. He's like, I fucking raised and lowered the sun and no one cares. Damn, that sucks. Well, I guess that's good enough anything, for me. Do you guys have anything here that's, you know, like, extra special about this place or Zerthale? You sound hella suspicious. Not, not really. You do sound a little bit suspicious asking that kind of question. <laughs> Is there anything important here that we should know about? No, can we just, we I might mean, I just, actually. There's just steal. statues of her everywhere holding a no bow. I thought maybe you guys had a had a. No, no, we don't. We don't have any sort of artifacts like that. Can we come clean to the father? The thief is just asking that for no reason. Sure. What father. would you like to come clean about? Love handles is coming here. I'm sorry. Love handles. <laughs> Love handles is coming here. Lavander. He looks at the rest of you and he's like, "What is he talking about?" Lavander is coming here. Um, so, how do you suppose? We I have a reason to believe because um, I don't think we ever got the angel's name, so that's good. <laughs> 
Um, do you know what this is? And I motion to Creella's trident. Um, no, not particularly. Oh, Looks okay. like a trident, I guess. It's actually a pitchfork. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. It's not a fork. It's a threek. <laughs> God. It's actually a rake. Pitch threek, then. A pitch threek. Well, this <laughs> this um trident can do things like kill an angel. Yeah, um, we totally want to tell the people that worship an angel that. That. A threat? It's a promise. <laughs> wink, kiss. <laughs> no, whoa. Actually, we should have been traded for this whip that she had. Oh my god, could you? Yeah. Oh my god, that'd be great. So, um, yeah. We were told by an angel after we acquired this lovely artifact <clears throat> that uh, Lovander is coming to this city here. Uh, me and my my friend here see some campfires off in the distance that maybe we should go investigate. Might be him coming this way. Um, I don't know if he's planning to attack the city or or take something from the city or what. Um, but you guys do things at noon, typically. Uh, is there a way we could maybe reach out to Zerthael that way? Well, I mean, uh, your whole whole story sounds a little bit far fetched. I don't I don't see why Lovander would make his way to the Material Plane specifically to come here. Neither do I. But I'm hoping it, maybe she might know. If you, if you want to try she doesn't know, I, she needs to be warned. I suppose you could could sit under the skylight at, at noon and and have a go. I don't I don't really have any sort of advice for you, but I you can certainly try. I've talked to four gods. That's debatable. You have? Yeah. Have you? When? He doesn't know. Anyway. <laughs> I lean forward. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I mean, can we get y'all's help, maybe? I don't know much about rituals. Could you channel your magic into us while we're rich concentrating really hard to talk to them? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't quite, I mean, I'm not... I don't. I'm not. I'm not really much of a spellcaster. Um, it would be more of like an an energy thing, you know. I really don't even don't even know what what we would do. This isn't this isn't some some like tried and true strategy. I you guys are sort of you know you you're, guys you're welcome you... you're welcome to try, but you're certainly the first ones who have tried something like this. Well, Give I don't us know anything about divine magic. Give us some um, twelve of your biggest and greatest daddies. <clears throat> um, put them in a circle around us while we lie down, look up at, through the sunlight, and just channel your energy into us, dog. Okay. And it'll work. Can I walk away? This is <laughs> yes. I'm done with this conversation. I want to. I want to let him have it. He can continue. I'm gonna go train. <laughs> I'm done. That's... I will say, yeah. Mort's current possession of a soul, like, is questionable. <laughs> so, Fair. he specifically may not be the best one to commune with an angel. If only we had some kind of. Specifically. Plan. If only. It's uh... really. I read about it in this book uh, one time. That's how they communicated with gods in that book. I I will um I will I've I've watched return... Monks try but so I know parts of it. I think it was called character... manga. Well, we have a magic 
Eight ball. Angel killing weapon. Maybe that's enough to get her attention. Yeah, I'm sure she'll like smite Let's... me right out of the ground. <laughs> Let's use right you. She sees me with it. Let's use you as some kind of conduit. <laughs> I mean, we'll all definitely see the god because we all totally have souls, right, guys? Yeah. May, what if wink, we? Wink. What if we <laughs> split the party? With people who have best, souls and people who don't, I dude. I got best, it. In the best way possible. Oh if someone god. stays here to maybe commune with the angel, if it's possible. I'll try it because I. And then maybe we should scout out those potential campfires. Well, if you guys are part devil. Surely, I'm the best candidate. You think she won't talk to us? I don't think she'll talk to me with... Yeah, me being a tiefling and having an angel-killing weapon on my body. I think that's exactly why she would talk to you. But I the feel like crow she can't talk. The crow can't talk. Well, so... The crow can't talk to you... To but technically, his his soul can talk fine. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know we had soul radio on. <laughs> My bad. It's because you're not dialed Black in. You don't have one. <laughs> yeah. Soul, soul XM. <laughs> Dude, that's like my favorite radio station. Because, like, I have a soul. I don't mind trying, I guess. Yes, we get it, more. You have a soul. We know. Yeah, don't forget. There's nothing suspicious about you. I know. People keep saying I'm sus, but I, don't, I think they're just saying manga memes. Manga memes. Okay, so when you guys uh, settle on a plan, hit me up. Alright, what are we gonna do, guys? Well... From what I can tell, the Kenku used to be like like an alarm for angels when someone died from what it sounds like well there you go so i don't know well, i have history like... with my character has history with angels there you go so then you're actually the perfect candidate for it so so actually yeah so actually <laughs> you're definitely yeah, the one that you're doing that, we can try yeah. Yeah. me i guess so then in that way we don't give away our very good very good uh, weapon to the angel Case, you know we have to do yeah, something. Well, I wouldn't say we were giving it away. It was more of a, a threat, threatening with a, a, a beacon of something that they wouldn't like, and maybe would show up to see it and maybe get rid of it. But then we would talk to them and be like, "No, no, we're trying to use it on Lovander, not you." <laughs> well, maybe let's not tell her that we're using it on Lovander. Let's figure uh, out the sitch done, with done. Lovander first, because maybe she's like, I love Lovander. He's my brother lover, which is fine because they're gods. They aren't <laughs> related. They're, he's my brother lover. They're not siblings. Even if we can... What are you doing, step bro? Our god we step bro? <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck. Holding the sun. <laughs> Can't, both my hands are up holding the sun. I'm stuck <laughs> Love, Lavanda pulls up in his fourth Oh Fiesta. my He's god! Like, Hello, baby. Hello, baby. The DM just kills all of us because he said 15 times that she doesn't hold it with her hands. <laughs> Both hands are currently free to smite you if she wishes. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, the sun's not up. <laughs> She's taking a break. She's on her off time right now. Still, It's still the morning. Oh. Well, yeah, I don't know it's... how long you would do those campfires if maybe we all go there and come back, but if mm -hmm. we don't have enough time. I'm at least going to go there because I'm sneaky. I'm not very good in a fight, so I'm just going to stay here. What we, what's the plan? I want to get intel on what those smoked columns are. Do you need backup, or am I staying here for the... He might need backup. Oh, you need to stay here, yeah. You need to stay here because you're the potential per only person that might be even able to talk to someone that nobody has ever talked to before. So Excellent. Creole, you're good at like hunting and tracking. You should go with Damaris. We're really, yeah, we're really doing a, a Hail Mary here. No pun intended. 
No, are we gonna go to Who's both? Who's Mary? Was, wasn't a pun. We not the wrong me? religion. Are we gonna split and go to? I'm assuming they're both pretty close to each other. That was or, the vibe or, you got from the. Or it's two camps that are large enough to where it wouldn't matter. Okay. Can we skip to <clears throat> noon when the when the boys should be channeling their energy into the? Okay, crow? so so Damaris is Damaris is gonna head out towards the fires. Who's joining him? I'll go. If I have hunting and tracking. Okay, yeah. so then. Uh, Gerald and Mort will hang out um, uh, and wait for noon for the ritual to go off. Um, so, uh, Damerson, one sec, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Um, or if everyone just wants to take like a bathroom break or something, I'll be back in like. Okay. All right, this is the break. <laughs>